Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the AGV T2 helmet. Now the AGV T2 is really the baby brother to the GP Tech and we know the GP Tech is the top of the food chain. Race level helmet, it's what Valentino Rossi wears in MotoGP as well as Marco Simoncelli. Now the T2 comes in a myriad of solids as well as graphics and it steals a good amount of the features from the GP Tech but it's slightly less technical and therefore it's going to be a little bit more accessible for the sport bike rider, for the aggressive rider, for the track day rider, and even for the casual racer. I actually think that might, might be an, ac an oxymoron, casual racer. I don't think there's actually such thing, but uh, you get where I'm going for. Now, if we look at it, the big thing that stands out is the profile. It's definitely a race design profile, designed to be in the three-quarter or the tuck position. One of my favorite features on this helmet is going to be it's using AGV's IVS system, integrated ventilation system. These integrated channels that you see in some competitors that actually sit as an internal, an external piece on top of the main shell construction. What AGV has done is they've figured out a way to design the shell that's both ECE 2205 as well as DOT that integrates these shell or these channel areas that actually give you more space for air to flow through the channel of the EPS and get to your head and disperse more evenly. It's a nice feature. You see it in the T2, you see it in the GP Tech, and in my opinion, it's probably the standout feature on both of those helmets. It's a slightly different fit pattern here on the, on the T2. It's a little bit more long oval. It's still going to be playing in that intermediate oval realm, but this is a little bit longer front to back than something like the GP Tech. So for those of you guys who are wearing an Arai profile or looking for something that's a little bit longer and narrow, something maybe like a shark, this is going to play in this ballpark. It's using, the same it's using the same shield system as the GP Tech that comes with tear-off posts, and it's also using the quick-release system here as well. I'm going to turn it on its side and show you that it's a very simple shield change mechanism. This is AGV's version, proprietary to AGV. It pops off like that. You line it up at the top of the range, and you snap it down. I find that the AGV helmet works a little better with two hands. So moving on from there, start with the front and work our way up. These two foil pieces are actually a vent that's open and closable. The switch is on the inside, up and down. Removable breath diffuser. Moving up past the eye port, we already talked about the shield. Getting into the feeders for this IVS system on top. It's an open and closable chimney vent intake that's going to vent to the shield inside with two ports as well as vent to the rest of the head and vent directly to the EPS. There's your open and close on the front. As we spin it around to the back, you're going to see a few Venturi vents or extractors. Two that are permanently open up here at the top that sit off the back of the IVS system. And you're also going to have two that sit off diffusers down here along the base of the skull. They're basically passive. So what happens is you have a sphere moving at high speed through the air. You have an area of low pressure. Air is being forced in from the front. The vacuum behind the helmet over this sphere creates an area of low pressure. And the warm, moist air gets sucked out of the back and away from your head, increasing the ventilative effect. Now, if we move to the bottom of this helmet, the nice part about this is it is a fiberglass Kevlar and carbon fiber shell. So while it's not Snell, it's using exotic materials to achieve a lightweight and a degree of strength that's going to be track ready. If we move towards the guts, it's a, it's a mix of Coolmax as well as Drylex, removable chin curtain. I want to show you, here's the switch for the ventilation on the front. And as we move in, everything's removable, everything's washable. So here comes my neck roll. Neck roll comes out, very simple. Notice it's very smooth, it's very comfortable, it's a microfiber style. It's not as luxurious as the GP Tech, but again, this is the baby brother to the GP Tech, and they were looking for ways to make this a more accessible helmet to someone who's not a professional racer. Moving into the inside of the helmet, you're going to notice the straps for the, uh, for the um, chin strap are both coated, and now we get into the cheek pads. So it's going to be three snaps and a three, and here comes my cheek pad which it's going to start out and be able to be sized, multiple different cheek pads. When you get into a helmet in this price range, which is really that four or $500 range, you're getting into a helmet that needs to be able to be tuned to fit your head. Remember, when the helmet fits correctly and it keeps you cool and it performs and it's not noisy and it's very stable at speed, what that allows you to do is focus. And when you're focused, not only do you enjoy more of your ride, but you're a safer rider who's more in tune with the environment around him, not worrying about his gear. Three snaps, here comes my other cheek pad, and now I'm going to get into the guts. You can see it's a 3D design on the comfort liner, and as I reach in, it's going to be four snaps to pull this bad boy out. One, two, three, four. 
And here's my 3D comfort liner made up of a mix of different materials. And notice too that my snaps on the front are on their own tab that are movable. They're not built into the piece that has to be sturdy enough to attach to your head. They try to do that so you don't feel the seams. Notice it's a 3D style foam. 3D design, I'm going to turn it inside out. You can see the Coolmax and the Drylex, which are going to absorb sweat, wick it away, but also allow it to be very ventilated. And the nice part here, as I flip this bad boy open, this T2, is you're going to see the big ventilation channels that work and integrate with the IBS system that not only are going to flow air to the head, they're going to allow it to move freely. And that's the big piece here. So we talked about the fit, we talked about the exterior, we've talked about some of the features, we've talked about the protective element and really the use. The last thing you need to know, and we talked about it before, is where it fits into the lineup. Sub GP Tech, but it's going to be a step up from some of the AGV models. This is going to be the general of the AGV line, second in command. If you have any questions about the T2, shoot us a line. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, use this video to help you watch, decide, then ride. But when you get down to one or two helmets and you need that little extra something, Give us a shout via email or on the phone. It's what we do. Let us allow you to, or let us provide you with that level of expertise that our guys are so good at. If, if you buy this helmet, it's going to ship for free. If you need to exchange it, send it back to us. We'll exchange for free. If you just don't like it, don't wear it outside of your living room. It's got to be in brand new condition. Send it back to us with all the tags and all the packaging. We'll give you 100% back to your card. And as always, anything over 100 bucks at Revzilla earns Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order. It's our loyalty program that's going to allow you to save some money in the long run by shopping with us. Once again, this is the AGV T2 helmet available at Revzilla.com slash AGV. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.